I am P. Getshal Punbakiyavadi, Assistant Professor of Mathematics, V. Vanya Parmal College for Women, Viradhanagar. In this video, we are going to learn about short tricks for fast multiplication. First, multiplication by 2. Give a number 46 into 2 which is equal to, it is 40 into 2 plus 6 into 2. That is 40 into 10. So, that is equal to 80 plus 12 which is equal to 92. For example, 69 into 2 means the 69 can be split into 60 plus 9. So, 60 into 2 plus 9 into 2 that is equal to 120 plus 18 that is equal to 138. In a decimal number, you take it a number of 53.5 that is into 2 which is equal to 53.5 can be expanded into 53 plus 0.5. So, 53 into 2 plus 0 0.5 into 2 which is equal to 106 plus 1 that is 107. Similarly, 53.5 can be split in a way 50 into 50 plus 3.5 that is 50 into 2 plus 3.5 into 2 that is 100 plus 7 is equal to 107. So, 53.5 can be split in a two ways. That is 53 plus 0 0.5. Otherwise 50 plus 3.5. Next multiplication by 3. That is which is a tripling. You have to tripling the number. Given number. First uh, for example taking 43. You have to multiply by 3. So 43 can be taken as 40 plus 3. So 40 into 3 plus 3 into 3 which is equal to 120 plus 9. Which is equal to 129. Uh, in a decimal point, 245.2 into 3. So, how will you split 245.2? 240 into 3 plus 5.2 into 3. So, 720 plus 15.6 which is equal to 735.6. Next, multiplication of 4. So, you have to doubling twice. So, 2 into 4 can be split into 2 plus 2, isn't it? Therefore, you have to doubling twice. For given number 33, you have to multiply it by 4. Then 33 can be doubled 66. And 66 can be doubled 132. Next, for a decimal number, 31.5 into 4. You have to multiply 31.5 by 4. So, 30, first you have to doubling, 30, uh, 31.5 can be split into 30 plus 1.5, isn't it? So, 30 into, 30 can be doubling by 60, 60 into doubling twice, uh, doubling by 6, 120, then 1.5 doubled 1, 3, 3 doubled 6. So, total 120 plus 6 can be which is equal to 126. Next, multiply by 5. Here we have to put 0 and then take a half of that number. For example, you have to multiply 43 by 5. Okay. So you have to add 0 first. So what is 4, 43, uh, 43 plus uh, 43? Then you have to add 0 means 430. Then you have to take a half of that number 430, which is equal to 215. Similarly, you have to multiply 96 by 5. So, 96 means uh, adding 0 means 960. Then half of that number means 960 divided by 2 which is equal to 480. Similarly, uh, in, uh, in a decimal number 230, uh, 23.6 into 5 which is equal to 23.6 into 10. Then only we get a 0. So, 236, then taking half of that number, 236. Similarly, for 463.4 into 5, which is equal to, so multiply by 10, 4634. 4, 4, so, they taking half of that number is equal to 2370. Next, multiplication by 6. Here, 6 can be split into 3 plus 2. Or else 2 plus, uh, 3, plus uh, 3, uh, 3 into 2. So 3 means tripling, 2 means doubling. So first you have to, uh, for a given number 46 into 6, 
42 can be doubled 84 then 84 can be tripled so 240 which is equal to 252 next 124 into 6 means 124 double and 248 triple and with the 248 triple means 600 that is equal to 744 next multiplication by 8 here 2 into 2 into 2 then only we get a 8 so double 3 times so for a given number 26 have to multiply it by 8 so 26 into 8 can be 26 52 and 104 double uh, double uh, 3 times so 2 not 8 similarly for 75 first half 75 next doubled 150 next doubled 300 so 600 next multiplication by 9 9 means 3 into 3 so we have to triple the number so for example 23 that 23 can be tripled doubled 69 and then tripled 180 so plus which is equal to 207 plus 27 which is equal to 207 then 61 that can be 183 and 450 plus 9 which is equal to 549 next multiplication by 11 this method is also called a pairing method how will you pair this for a given number 624 you have to pair the number that is first step taking 6 and then split 6 plus 2 adding the second number then 2 plus 4 adding the 2 and third number and then last one 4 which is equal to first number 6 6 plus 2 means 8 6 2 plus 4 means 6 and 4 so 624 into 11 is equal to 6864 6, for example uh, next you have to take a number 6 3 5 4 7 8 3 into 11 so here 6 and next number 3 6 plus 3 next 3 plus 5 next 5 plus 4 next 7 plus 8 next 8 plus 3 and the last digit is 3 you have to pairing the number first digit 6 and then 6 plus 3 9 then 3 plus 5 8 5 plus 4 9 4 plus 7 what is 4 plus 7 11 7 plus 8 15 8 plus 3 11 the last one is 3 here in a uh, fourth place in a fifth place we getting 11 isn't it so you have to add a previous number by 1 so we get 6 9 9 0 2 6 1 3 next multiplication by 9's so this is equal 9's with equal number of digits for example 63 into 99 here we have to reduce 63 by 1 and subtract 6 from 9 and subtract 3 from 10 how will you multiply by 9's 63 by 1 reduce 63 by 1 and subtract 6 from 9 and then 3 from 10 so we get a value 6 2 3 7 next triple 9 into 746 means first reducing one number so 7 4 5 and then subtract 7 9 7 from 9 at 4 from 9 and 6 from 10 so 7 4 5 2 5 4 another example 99999 what is the method first you have to reduce by 1 so 81842 here 81843 so 81843 minus 1 is equal to 81842 then 8 from 9 1 from 9 8 9 8 from 9 8 from 9 then 4 from 9 then 3 from 10 so 81842181 when a number of digits are less than number of nines that is 729 here there is a three digit number and 
multiplied by four digit nines. So nine nine nine. So you have to add a zero in a previous first one. So zero seven two nine into nine nine nine. So which is equal to reduce one from number seven twenty eight and subtract zero from nine. Subtract seven from nine. Two from nine. Nine from ten. So seven two eight nine two seven one. Next multiplied by twelve. For example, you take a number of two forty six. This is two. This is also a pairing method. So first you take a first digit two, then two into two plus four, first digit, and then twelve uh, unit digit. So two into two plus four. Then four into two plus six and six into two, so two eight fourteen twelve fourteen plus twelve means adding previous by one and adding previous by one, so we get two nine five two. So this method can be expanded for multiplication by thirteen fourteen fifteen up to etc nineteen. Next multiplication by doublets. That is seventy three into twenty two. So seventy three into twenty two. Twenty two can be written as two into eleven. So already two can be double. Eleven can be pairing method. So one forty six into eleven. So one one plus four four plus six six this is equal to one six zero six. Similarly, any number is multiplied by <coughs> multiplied by doubles. Next. Multiplication by nines. Here is we have to we have two cases equal number of digits and nines. First case equal number of digits and nines. Here twenty three into ninety nine, which is a two digit number. So minus by one nine nine minus two ten minus three. So twenty two seven seven. Case two number of less digits less than number of Nines. It is already we are seventy-three in. So you have to multiply seventy-three by nine ninety-nine. So here seventy-three is a two-digit number. Triple nine is a three-digit number. So you have to add zero previous seven. So zero seventy-three into nine ninety-nine. So zero seventy-three minus one. Then nine minus zero. Nine minus seven, ten minus three, so seven two nine two seven. Then the third case: number of digits in no more than number of nines. For example, six six hundred and twenty-four into nine. Ninety-nine can be written as hundred minus one. So it is the easiest way of multiplying by nines. That is, which is equal to nine six hundred and twenty-four into hundred minus one. Which is equal to six six hundred sixty two thousand four hundred minus six hundred twenty four. So which is equal to six one double seven six. Then multiplication by one point five. So four forty eight into one point five. So what is one point five? One plus half. So forty eight plus half of that forty eight, which is equal to forty eight plus twenty four, which is equal to seventy two. Next multiplication by two point five. Put a zero, then taking a half. So twenty-two into two point five means put a zero. So two hundred and twenty, then taking a half of that number, two twenty divided by two, which is equal to hundred and ten. That is equal to hundred and ten divided by two, which is equal to fifty-five. Then half for twice. So you have to take two hundred and twenty-two divided by two is equal to hundred and ten. Again, you have to half because here two plus zero point. So, which is equal to fifty-five. Thank you.